Hey dear students and parents, welcome to the Test Prep Card channel. You all know what J stands for, the Joint Entrance Examination, right? It is an engineering entrance assessment conducted for admission to various engineering colleges in India. It is constituted by two different examinations, the J Main and the J Advanced. So today we'll discuss what are the options after J Mains. Yeah, yeah, I know for every J aspirant, IIT is the ultimate goal. And for that, you need to crack J advanced. And we'll discuss about IITs as well. But apart from IITs, there are a number of top colleges you can get on the basis of the J main strand. So if you don't get into an IIT, don't get disheartened because there are a number of great options waiting for you out there. So let's just discuss all the options one by one so you get a clear cut idea. We'll briefly discuss about IITs, NITs, triple ITs, GFTIs, private universities and state universities. Let's first start with IITs as you guys love it, I know. So after J mains, you have to crack J advanced to get into IIT. The competition is very tough as many students try to capture the limited seats of IIT. The first Indian Institute of Technology was set up in 1951 in Kharagpur and today the total number of IIT stands at 23. They are IIT Madras, IIT Delhi, IIT Bombay, IIT Kharagpur. In 2020, the total number of VTEC seats in all the IITs put together were 11,289. So all of uh, students applying in J Advance, the 1% got admission into IITs. The IITs are best known for offering world-class undergraduate and postgraduate engineering programs. Some of the popular engineering programs offered by IITs include Computer Science Engineering, Civil Engineering, Electrical Engineering and Mechanical Engineering. See, it's very obvious that every engineering student aspires to get an IIT seat. But sometimes the competition is too tough, right? So without wasting an entire year to reappear in JE, you can choose NITs. NITs are a great option for students like you after IITs. NIT stands for National Institute of Technology and they are premier engineering colleges in India offering admissions to degree courses at both undergraduate and We have a total of 31 NITs in India. NIT Trichy, NIT Varangal, NIT Patna, NIT Roorkela, NIT Durgapur, NIT Kurukshetra and NIT Silchar are some of the popular NITs across India. I hope you got a clear cut idea about the IITs and the NITs. So let's move further and discuss about the other option after J mains. For those interested in studying information technology and other technical courses can head to any of the 25 triple ITs in India. Triple ITs are considered the top colleges after IITs and NITs for sure. Before moving further, I just wanted to inform you all that for NRI students, we have prepared an NRI's ebook related to DASA CIWG quota. Kindly download this from the link below. It will help you a lot. So after appearing for JMAIN, the next step for candidates seeking admission to triple ITs is to appear for Joint Seat Allocation Authority, JOSA, or Central Seat Allocation Board, CSAB, counselling. There are a total of 25 triple ITs in India, five of which are listed as the institutes of national importance, while the remaining 18 triple ITs are set up on the public-private partnership PPP model. The top five triple ITs in India are triple IT Allahabad, triple IT DM Kanchipuram, triple IT DM Jabalpur, ABV triple ITM Gwalior, triple ITM Kurnool. So triple ITs produce exceptional professionals every year. You could be one of them if you don't lose time and apply to these colleges. The next option after triple ITs, IITs, NITs is GFTIs. The government funded technical institutes are popularly known as GFTIs. All the GFTIs in India are funded by the Government of India. So admission to the government funded technical institutes is done by the Joint Seat Allocation Authority. The admissions to the list of GFTIs colleges in India is done on the basis of the merit obtained in the J main. Okay, so there are about 20 GFTIs in India where the candidates from all over the country can seek admission. 
Some of them are Assam University, Indian Institute of Carpet Technology. Look, I told you about so many options, right? So it's not always about IIT. And you should figure out some backup plans also so that you don't get stuck after Jamin's. Okay, I have two more great options for you. So let's get into that. So the next option is applying into top private universities. Yes. Over the last few years, there are a number of excellent private universities with comprehensive curriculums where you can apply after your J mains. These private universities have superb placements. So according to your rank, you can apply in them as well. Some of the private universities are Thapar University, which is in Patiala, PhD College of Technology, which is in Coimbatore, Lovely Professional University, GSS Academy of Technical Education and more. After watching this video, do check out some more private universities and you'll get a lot of options. So lastly, let's discuss about some state universities which accept the J main score. Okay, so here I'm taking example of Maharashtra. So we'll discuss about some top universities in the state. Okay, so the first one is Bharti Vidyapi Deem University College of Engineering, which is in Pune. The next is ICT Mumbai Institute of Chemical Technology. Next is VIT Pune Vishwakarma Institute of Technology and more. So I told you a couple of options, right? And you can even explore more and more to have a good backup plan. You need to work very hard if you really want to get into a top engineering college. Whatever you get, take it as an opportunity. Life doesn't need to stop just after an exam, right? From my side, I have covered each and everything. If you have any further doubt, do comment below or connect with us on the link given in the description. Do subscribe to our channel to keep yourself posted with new topics. Thank you.